In the promotional material for the new Ahsoka show, and especially in the most recent trailer, we've been introduced to a brand new character in the form of this so far unnamed Inquisitor. Actually, introduced may be too strong of a word, as we've only seen about three of their scenes, none of which offer any sort of explanation to what an Inquisitor is doing still operating post-Return of the Jedi. Why is he still trying to hunt Jedi even though both of his bosses are dead? How did he manage to survive this long beyond the Battle of Yavin? Was he working for the Empire that whole time? If not, why is his armor still in such pristine condition? And the most significant question of them all, just who is this mysterious masked Jedi hunter? In trying to find more information on this guy, I've stumbled onto a few interesting theories that I think may actually end up holding water when it comes down to it. The first, and the one that I think is the most likely candidate of the truth, this new Inquisitor isn't anyone special, or anyone we've met before, and they won't even play that significant of a role in the overall story of the show. Let's be honest, Inquisitors were sort of initially created just to give the Jedi and Rebels an enemy with a lightsaber that wasn't Vader, so they didn't have to worry about keeping them alive for the OT. Rebels alone sees the death of four Inquisitors, three of whom we have next to zero backstory for, other than the seventh sister and the fifth brother were sent out to take the Spectres, and the eighth brother was sent out to kill Maul. That's all we know about them. No name, no real backstory. All we know is that they were once Jedi that abandoned the Order, were recruited by the Emperor to hunt down Jedi survivors, and they eventually all died meaningless deaths. Inquisitors were never really meant to be that significant of threats, and Ahsoka has owned her fair share of them in the past. It stands to reason that this new foe will be cut down just as easy as all the rest. Granted, he did manage to be the longest living one that we know of, so maybe he'll put up a bit more of a fight. On the off chance that Ahsoka ends up fighting this guy more than three times, who would he be if he wasn't a new character entirely? Well, fellas, he may not even be a he at all. I'm aware that some circles of the Star Wars fandom, including myself, are extremely curious as to what became of Barriss Offee after the Clone Wars. After all, following her trial in the Clone Wars after she became the Star Wars Unabomber, it seems like they just locked her away, threw away the key, and we haven't heard of her since. Back in the Rebels days, there were plenty of theories going around that the Seventh Sister was actually Barriss Offee finally making a return, but turns out they were just the same species and everyone was being racist. Among fan wishlists for characters they hope to see in Ahsoka, Barriss Offee's been a pretty frequent request. So much so that a small population of theorists believe we may actually be misgendering this new Inquisitor, and that it is, actually, finally, Barriss Offee come to take her revenge against Ahsoka Tano for not just going to prison for the rest of her life for the crime she didn't commit. Now, do I believe this to be the case? That this newcomer is actually an old... comer? No. No, I don't. In fact, I reckon it's a little bit silly, if I may be so bold. It doesn't make much sense to bring her back after all this time, in this context at least. Plus, this guy's build just doesn't really line up, but hey, maybe she just got buff over the years. I don't know. Prison does things to you. Who am I to judge? Well, I do think there's a good chance that we may at least learn something about what happened to her in the show, and I hope and pray every day that she'll just straight up make an appearance. I highly doubt it would be like this. I do, however, think there's a serious case to be made for another old character that we haven't seen in a while, and this is the one that I'm going to defend to my dying breath, tooth and nail, and that is that this is not a new Inquisitor at all, but rather our good old buddy, the Eighth Brother. Yeah, 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 whatever, shut your gobs, all of you. I know he died on Malachor and Rebels, but do we, do we all really believe that he's actually dead? Come on, this is Star Wars. If Darth Maul could survive being cut in half, falling down a reactor shaft, and then being transported to and surviving on a garbage planet for 10 years, do we really think a Force user like the 8th brother died from a simple fall? Especially in the same show that made using the Force to break one's fall more widely known? Is it really that unbelievable that he just didn't die here? Not to mention, his defeat at the hands of the very person he was hunting down would probably infuriate him so much that he would just never stop looking for Maul after that point even after his death. Does the galaxy know Maul's dead? I mean, I, w how would they know? I mean, Obi-Wan wouldn't like gloat about something like that. So d does everyone just like assume? I don't know, anyway. That offers an explanation as to where he was during the Galactic Civil War, searching every nook and cranny in the galaxy for Maul, avoiding the war and just not knowing that Maul died. Plus, take a look at his helmet design. While it might not look too similar at first glance, let's be real. When has live-action Star Wars ever cared about what the Inquisitors are supposed to look like? After Obi-Wan Kenobi and the interesting choices they made for Grand Inquisitor and the Fifth Brother, it's not too wild to say that they could just be at it yet again and changing the head shape of yet another alien. Now, some new information has recently come to light regarding this guy's name, and apparently it's Merrick? So this might just enforce the theories that it's either someone entirely new, 
or the eighth brother, given that we don't know what his name is. Or it could just be a misdirected pseudonym to throw us off the trail. Who knows, I'm probably just reading too far into it a little bit, but this is honestly the theory that I'm most hoping ends up true when it comes down to it, as it would make a lot of sense and it would close up what is, to some, a gaping door of opportunity. Another one that I've heard people be more insistent upon is that the new Inquisitor is none other than Ezra Bridger. The running story is that after being sent out into the unknown regions of the galaxy with Grand Admiral Thrawn, some think that hanging around with Thrawn and his remaining troops forced him to adapt to survive and temporarily join forces with Thrawn. This temporary alliance could eventually become more permanent as after 9 or 10 years of being stuck out there with Thrawn, Ezra just gives in to his dark side temptations and becomes this new age inquisitor. Now, I'll be straight with you, I personally don't think this is the case at all. I mean, even with all the time that's passed between Ezra's disappearance and the post-war era, I don't think Thrawn would ever have been able to convert Ezra so easily. I mean, even with his pre-existing temptations, Ezra's arc was completed when he willingly chose the sacrifice play to save the rebellion. Any chance of conversion was stomped out at that moment in my book. And if he were an Inquisitor, why would he be so willing and so vicious in his fight with Ahsoka? Would he really go from pulling her out of time to save her life to trying to kill her so quickly? Ahsoka is a very important mentor figure to Ezra, and I just can't imagine that even Thrawn would convince him to kill her. So I'm sorry, this one's just not happening. But all this talk of Inquisitors just makes you think, how many Inquisitors were there? And could any of them have survived this long? Well, there are around 12 or 13 Inquisitors that we know of for sure, but most of them just met grisly deaths at the hands of the Rebels, Vader, or Cal Kestis. Again, it is possible and I think likely that the Eighth Brother survived the scuffle on Malachor, but he's not the only Inquisitor with an unconfirmed status at this time. The third sister, Reva, left the Inquisitories at the end of the Kenobi show and the Empire believes she was killed by Vader. We have no idea as to where she went when we last saw her on Tatooine, but it's highly possible and likely that she survived after the war. This isn't to suggest that this new Inquisitor is her or anything, it's just nice to keep track of the roster. Speaking of, there may be a third Inquisitor that is possibly alive following a retcon made by Tales of the Jedi. In the Ahsoka novel, Ahsoka meets, fights, and kills the Sixth Brother, taking his kyber crystals for herself and purifying them to build her own lightsabers. But after Tales of the Jedi showed her killing a different Inquisitor entirely, the fate of the Sixth Brother is suddenly ambiguous. Was he killed by Ahsoka still, just on a different occasion? Was Vader the one to take him out? Or is he our mysterious new Inquisitor, just to throw my own hat into the theory ring? We may never know. Even still, the Sixth Brother seems like a far better candidate for the true identity of our new Inquisitor, with Barris being maybe the least likely candidate. Who do you think our new Inquisitor buddy is? Let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Ahsoka coverage as this story develops. Take care now. Bye-bye.